Hello, green blue ant. How are you? Gotta sort something out. Gotta uh, open up the chat so I can see it properly. <laughs> I've got it on another screen, but I thought I'd do it here because that would be a lot easier. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine, thanks. Oh, I, I may not have put on the um, replay, so uh, anyone's watching this after the event, you might not know who I'm talking to, but <laughs> Green Blue Ant is in the uh, the chat, for those of you. Actually, can I uh, retcon that now? Uh, <laughs> let's have a look. Ah, yeah, it's got live chat replay. Okay. I mean, I'm probably going to hide it anyway. Okay, uh, so it's the end of February, so it's time for another live stream, and I'm going to talk about all the stuff that I drew this month. And here's the thing, uh, it's going to be a little bit different from the previous one because... Oh, I can call you Green, that's nice. Hello, Green. Yeah, uh, I... Last time I kind of divided it up so that all of the color drawings, like the fully rendered commissions that I've been working on, I did a collection of those first, and then I did the coffee sketches in the second half of the video. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different because I've not really done a lot of commissions this month. It's been a little bit... I mean, I've, I've not really been that organized, and also because uh, there aren't so many days in February, uh, I didn't really get around to doing that many. So I've mixed things up a bit, and I've done a lot of coffee sketches, so that's what you're going to see most of in this stream. Because I just thought, yeah, I'll be able to fill this up nicely if I mostly use the coffee sketches. So the first one here, this is for Anubo. Uh, because Anubo donated to my coffee and uh when uh when it came to doing the thank you sketch i knew exactly what i wanted to do because i've seen jack fox uh draw a number of uh sketches of anubo and i ended up basing this one on his drawings because i'm finding that when i do these thank you sketches i i, I don't necessarily want to just you know do it completely in my style. I like to um, steal from other artists. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, uh, I, I kind of base this heavily on the way Jack Fox draws a new bow, um, and uh, the, the the one difference is I I gave him the I gave him a sweater in this one. I gave him a hoodie. Um, yeah, and I mean, for a, a thank you sketch, I think he turned out pretty good uh, I wasn't entirely sure what kind of color to use I mean because like whenever I do one of these sketches I choose a color to kind of layer over everything and I just have like a, a fill layer that I set to screen and then it just makes the whole thing uh, th this kind of one color in, in different shades uh, I don't know if this is the best one because uh, he has is a bit more blue. Um, I I hardly ever look at Deviant Art notifications. Sorry about that, Green. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so I, I I think in retrospect I'd probably choose a different shade of blue. Here's one of Bouncing Bear. There's another coffee thank you sketch for Artful Reggie. Um, and yeah, uh, Reggie didn't say like. That he wanted a specific character drawn but as soon as he donated um i was like i know exactly which character i want to draw because I've, I've seen so many really cool drawings of this character so yeah uh and, and i love the design of his superhero outfit and everything so uh and, and again i i kind of found someone else's i can't remember exactly which artist it was but 
someone had drawn him with this with that very facial expression right there uh and to me that was a no-brainer i just thought I, i'm gonna have to base it off that one so again kind of derivative but <laughs> i'm kind of glad that i went with that um this one was for frosty um so yeah uh frosty has joined me on 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 some of these live streams in the past uh in in the chat um I, i've seen her pop up in there uh and yeah this one was a lot of fun uh and, and i remember when i first started drawing this uh, again i found another artist i think uh, i think it was jargi i i looked at jargi's drawings of uh frosty uh and yeah i i, I took a lot of inspiration from those to begin with but it was only while I was doing the kind of rough sketch that I started to realize um, Frosty has changed her design quite a lot. Uh, and I ended up going through the because well, she did actually provide me with some references. And I think uh, I kind of have my heart set on using Frosty's ones as a reference. So I, I kind of you use use Jargi's, um drawings to uh, to get that expression to get like uh that, that kind of cute face with the, the you know the with where the eyes look and all of that and the muzzle um but then i i then started applying the new rules like no horns this time just big pointy ears pointing directly up um and also icicles, because I didn't notice, but Frosty has little icicles. And, and these aren't uh, that noticeable, the ones that I've drawn, but if you look at uh, the brim of her hat, there are some icicles dangling from those. Uh, right, this one was for Gare Bear. Uh, and uh, Gare Bear is someone that I uh, only recently became aware of. Uh, so that they donated and I made this for them uh and the uh, the shirt pattern that is just yeah you know, I, I just kind of copied what i saw from the reference you know again, <laughs> this is just me copying off references although because like the pose here was quite original uh yeah i i kind of pieced this together from different references because like the the head as, as you can probably tell is uh very close to baloo from the jungle book um, so yeah, that that was definitely, uh, 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 yeah, that that that, that was a that's basically everything that went into the head that was just like blue, because <laughs> um, I, I I'm really starting to like uh, drawing bears this way because it's very different to how I used to draw them. The, the ones I used to draw just kind of look like teddies, <laughs> like even if they were supposed to be real bears. Okay, now this is some birthday art for my friend Clunk the Skunk, um, and yeah, I I made this mostly because Clunk uh, drew some fan art for me, uh, and I just felt like uh, returning the favour. Um, and, I, and I just I noticed on their Twitter that they had a birthday coming up, so I just thought, yeah, I'll work on some birthday art. So here's Clunk bouncing on a birthday balloon <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this this is another one that's a little bit out of my comfort zone um well i think because what, what i really like about this character is the fact that he has yellow eyes that's just like a small thing that i really really love um uh, in, in some characters like yellow eyes for some reason they're just so I don't know they they bring a lot more life. I think the more colourful you make eyes, the more you can like. Uh, I don't know. They just bring them to life somehow. I <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. And yeah, I I really like the design of this character. And um, I I just again I'm just I'm trying not not to use my own style too much because I just really like how the original looked. Right now, uh, I'm gonna have to check the name here because I know I'm gonna uh, get it completely wrong. Where is it? Uh, I've lost it. Um, hang on. Oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> this is a disaster. Yeah, uh, it was in here. Um, in uh, videos, yes. Uh, I don't gonna read. This, uh, I'm professional. I'm really professional. <laughs> Izanagi. I, I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing it right. That, that that's who this this one was for. Um, and yeah, I I didn't I I, I couldn't really come up with a, a, a lot of ideas for this because I, I literally just looked up some references of this character and. Uh, yeah, I, I can see that it was a purple kangaroo that likes donuts. So that's what I drew. <laughs> and this one does have a bit more color in it. I think I, I was feeling a bit more adventurous with this one. So uh, <laughs> I think I think I uh, I faded all the colors a little bit just because I, I the, the line art was very messy and I, I didn't want to make it any bolder because you'd see all of like the, the chicken scratches and everything. So yeah. Um, I, I I just uh, faded the color and yeah, that that's pretty much all there is to this one. <laughs> but a lot of people seem to like this one. This one got a lot of likes on Twitter, and they, they really like the shape that I I drew with this. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm probably going to try and uh, take this as uh, a lesson because yeah, I I I am stepping out of my comfort zone more and. Uh, learning a lot more from references i'm learning to study references rather than copy them and yeah this, this one was for jargi yeah because uh, when jargi donated um he specifically asked me if i would draw Fabershim uh because yeah uh he said that he really wanted to see what it like in my style and as i've been saying throughout this whole video yeah, I've not been thinking about my own style so much. I think because like that's kind of an automatic thing. You just you have a style, whether you realise it or not. Um, but yeah, because I I wanted to because uh, you know, Jaggi has drawn so many uh, beautiful drawings of Fabershim, and I, uh, I I I started I found myself looking through a number of them. And really, just trying to figure out what made them look so appealing, and I did my best to emulate that with with this sketch. And this is actually one of the best uh, Kofi coffee Kofi Kofi. <laughs> I, I don't actually know if it's Kofi or coffee. Some people say it one way or the other. So yeah, uh, and, and and I'm very pleased with this one, and I think the color works quite well with it. Uh, and yeah, uh, it turned a few heads. And here's another commission. So uh, this was a headshot, because I am doing headshots. Um, uh, those, those are the cheaper ones. If, if you don't have as much money, I, yeah, I, I do these for. I can't remember what what price I came up. I won't say it here because if I get it wrong, then everyone's going to expect me to to do it for that much. Anyway, th this was um, for uh, Coda. Is, is that right? <laughs> I apologize because my, my brain is just fading right now. Um, yeah, th this was uh, a headshot for a coder, I'm pretty sure is right. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah. Um, Uh, so yeah, uh, not really much to say. Like, I was I was asked if I would give it that kind of blip with the tongue. Are we cool friends in DeviantArt? Uh, I'm I'm not sure we've interacted that much, uh, but I mean, if we get to know each other, we could be friends. I'm sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, this was my first time using like a white. Uh, border effect because uh, you can do that in the uh, clip studio paint and I've started to uh, think about using that a bit more um, the background is like uh, a little um, what you call it um, <laughs> it's on the tip of my tongue uh, a material a material 
Uh, it's the twenty uh, percent circle monochrome material, uh, and yeah, uh, I just dropped that in. And hey, Shrek's here. <laughs> Hello, big nasty Shrek. Yeah, uh, this is just a yeah showcase of the art that I drew in February. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so th I'm, I'm just telling people about this commission that I did for my friend Coda, the bearer. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, not much else to say about this. Uh, I still I, I want to get better at shading because I really didn't try very hard with this one. Uh, this is this was something I just did for fun. This is one of my own characters. This is Peggy. Um, she's a, a keyboard playing skunk, and uh, this was quite fun. I because I, I just kind of started out doodling away and. Uh, it, it kind of turned into this and I, I love it when that happens because it, it, it's just quite a spontaneous thing I, I was playing about with paint effects and um, shading and yeah uh, I think it would be great if more of my uh, pieces turned out like this yeah Coda is a cute name <laughs> um, oh now yeah the, the Laura sketch I I showed that one because uh, I, I, I finished that one last month. Uh, that was in my previous live stream, uh, which is currently set to private because uh, I, I, I had a conversation with someone today who said that they, they didn't want me um, posting their characters around. Um, so that, that's like a, a new thing that I, I have to... Uh, anyway, uh, so I, I did put that in in the previous live stream um, anyway so th the way this one came out uh, I, I was quite happy with and yeah I think because I um, I like the floofiness of her hair in this one I have been with, with this character I've been uh, experimenting a lot with the hairstyle <laughs> yeah I, maybe I'll just edit it out yeah because it, it is still up there I, 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 I still have access to it I've just said it to private for the time being um, yeah uh, and so yeah I, I think because I was treating this more like an actual painting so I think that that's why it turned out as good as it did oh and this is uh, a commission for my, my friend Rainbow Ben yeah um, and I, I was very happy with uh, the, the assignment because uh, yeah, uh, oh, he wanted me to include my character, uh, Squeezy Pie. That's the yellow bear with the picnic basket. Um, yeah, because uh, somehow Squeezy Pie has, has become a pretty popular character of mine. Uh, I think people like the fact that she's big and cuddly and. <laughs> <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah um, that, that's that's what people love about Squeezy um, so yeah uh, I was actually asked to uh, in, include her in this commission so that that was uh, very exciting for me are there any more? let's have a look oh yeah here's another coffee sketch so this one was for Truck my friend Truck the Polar Bear this is the Baron yeah um well, did he say? I think I've got the description of it in here. Um, yeah, um, he's a suave, charmer, well dressed, and a bit on the chunky side. Yeah, so uh, again, he provided me with different versions of the character drawn by different artists. Wise guy, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> gonna sleep with the fishes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I again, I, I, did, I couldn't really think of much original stuff to do with this drawing. So it, it's it's kind of a a, ver a variation of the uh, the drawings that I was shown. Um, Oh yeah, he's known as the Baron, but his his first name is Moriarty, which I'm guessing is a Sherlock Holmes reference. 
Um, yeah, and it, it was fun to draw. Uh, I, I didn't put a lot of thought into it, but yeah, it, it turned out all right. And this was a bit of Valentine's Day art that I, I did for my friends Glacier and Zark. Because um, I, I actually uh, I had this idea uh, way before Valentine's Day. And I, I just loved it so much that I thought I'm going to have to try and draw this. I, I rushed it a bit because I was very busy on the, the days leading up to Valentine's Day. So I literally just drew all of this on Valentine's Day, got it done as quickly as I could, and uh, sent it to Zark, uh, and she was thrilled. <laughs> oh, you know Zark? Oh, that's, that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, um, she's a great friend. Yes, yeah, and uh, she she has uh, encouraged me a lot of, and uh, said some really lovely things about my work. Uh, I I do love it. I love how uh, all of the people who follow me just say really nice things about my artwork. It's really encouraging. Um, yeah, and and so that's that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this because both Glacier and Zark have just been so sweet and have been great friends to me uh yeah and I, uh so is that it that's it that's that's all of them and yeah this seems like a good place to stop oh you don't know okay yeah you, you know their artwork yeah yeah uh that that would be great uh, and so thanks to both of you for uh joining me for this um uh, Hopefully we'll, we'll get a few more people uh, tuning into these in future. I've got, I'm going to try and uh, do one of these at the end of each month because I, I did do one for January and yeah, I, I might just edit out the bit that isn't isn't allowed to be in there now, <laughs> um, and that should be fine. So yeah, uh, see you all next month. And right now I am off to the pub. <laughs>